see the doctor? He does love to be in the papers. They're right on in. You can't hide from... I told him the labs was on lockdown. They don't listen anymore. Well, lovely weather. You certainly lovely laid out a convincing argument. Are you saying I hit him too hard? I don't know. Is he breathing? Well, he made a sort of sigh. And then some gurgling noises? He came right at me. Just make sure you leave that electro baton near him. In case he turns out to be important. I've learned so much from you over the years. Join the choir invisible, have we? All right. Lovely day for it. There you are. Right, Toe. Lovely weather. Lovely day for it. Where do you think you're going then? We're not open to the general public. Bugger off! I'm interviewing Dr. Verloc. Ah, you're a member of the Fourth Estate. You've come at an awkward time, you see, as we're just in the middle of... Uh... Well, there's been a bit of excitement in the lab. Best come back tomorrow. You're not saying something's gone wrong? No, of course not. Everything's peachy. Look, all right, you take your press pass up to Helen in public relations. Just uh, follow the sort of brown-coloured line. I must ask you not to stray from the path, because there's all sorts of delicate machinery and chemicals and whatnot, and we don't want you hurting yourself, do we? What sort of crisis makes them lock down the entire factory? Workers here will have the same respect for a press pulse as the Bobbies did. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please. Please stand by for decontamination. Product purity is our highest goal at Hayworth Labs. The decontamination procedure allows us to maintain the highest standard of purity. Oh, I'm so glad they're concerned about purity. You have been decontaminated. This is a choice. Please proceed into the lab. Please just lie down.
sorry to bother. Look at him! Uh, uh. Of that dangerous steam, if that is indeed what I did. There had better be neatly labeled samples of the fog next time I come down there. these gents without a fuss. Dr. Burlock would like all personnel to know that he must not be disturbed for the next hour at least. Please hold all inquiries until then, or resolve the situation yourself. I guess this is the latest test formula. I think I'll just take this with me. Evidence or something. Permanent solution. Drove the subject insane. Oh lord. A big red button. I wonder what it opens. <laughs> I feel rather brilliant right now. I threatened to thrash Timmy Hargreaves because he said rotten things about Sally and it turned out he had an older brother who'd been in the army and he was waiting for me on my doorstep when I came home from school and he gave me such a thrashing I don't remember that right now
Dr. Verloc is thinking very hard, sir. No visitors. The brominating reaction has caught fire. Sir, sorry to bother you, sir. But there's a fellow here says the reaction tank is on fire again. I said no interruptions. Some of the byproducts are poisonous. He says it's poisonous, sir. Of course there are poisonous byproducts. Tell him to do whatever they did the last time. Dr. Burlock would like you to do whatever you did the last time. No one knows that. He's an imposter. Implement security protocol 187. Oh, yes, sir. That's my favorite protocol. I am full of the fury of the Lord, and I am right weary with holding back. <laughs> the Lord judgeth me, and he is angry every day. shall be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the Lamb! Oh. You shall drink the wine of God's wrath poured into the cup of his anger! Ye shall not be... You shall drink the wine of God's wrath poured into the cup of his anger! The Lord judgeth thee, and he is angry every day. Can't we work something out? No? Oh, come on, you pack rat. You can't take all this with you. I wonder if that's why there are so many downers these days. Or did I just never notice? Doing. 
this one take a minute. Phrenology? Was that supposed to be ironic? Is that an original? I thought you were only supposed to give someone a piece of your mind. <laughs> God. Sergeant! Did you know half your workers are unconscious? The, the, the fumes issue will resolve itself. Look, I'm very busy recalculating the brominating reaction so it is non-explosive. Unless you've got a magic formula for synthesizing joy out of bleach, whiskey, and saltpeter, get out! You're planning to lobotomize the people of Wellington Wells, aren't you? Lobotomize is a rather inflammatory metaphor, but yes, I have been asked to synthesize something stronger and more permanent than joy. Who are you? If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat! <laughs> and what do you think you are now? You are just the sum of the neuropeptides swirling in your bloodstream. You see, the current downer outbreak is just a mass chemical imbalance. But I believe I can adjust the internal hormonal settings so the people stay happy no matter what. You can't do that. They told the Wright brothers they couldn't fly, but they did. You can't do that. Oh, my lord. You're that downer they've been warning us about. I'm actually just here for a bottle of cod liver oil. What makes you think I'll give it to you? This bottle of your new formula. If I smash it and you breathe the fumes, will it make you happy forever and always? You mustn't. It makes the patient insane. Ha! Now you can't move until I take my hand off this button. Oh, shit. Where's the bloody cod liver oil Sally wanted? This is the cleanest office I've ever seen. Where does he hide his junk? I wonder if he has a secret lair. He's just the sort who would. house movie. Sally Boyle's gonna come live with us for a bit. Sally Boyle? Why? Because her mum poisoned the whole bloody rest of her family, Arthur. And because we've got a spare bed in the attic now till Percy comes back from Germany. She's your age, you know. She's an idiot. Well then, you two should get along beautifully. Seems to be quite the collector. Where's the fucking cod liver oil?
The King of X! The King of X! The King of X! Don't laugh, Arthur. Don't laugh. <laughs> Thank you, Sally, for another wonderful adventure. This doesn't look like where the pills go out. What's going on this conveyor belt? <laughs> Possibly me. Flush the chemicals. Pushed, or were they flushed? Uh, a hatch, lovely. I've never seen so many hatches in my entire life. Whew. <sighs> 